bunions are her, a hereditary condition. If you have it in your family, for the most part, you're going to get a bunion deformity. If your mother had it, if your father had it, or even if your grandparents had it, uncles, aunts, you're going to get it eventually if you're prone to get it. Uh, it may miss you, but for the most part, we do see bunion deformities in families. And bunion deformities are painful, they're uncomfortable, they don't let you wear the kind of shoes that you want to wear. The shoes that we buy off the shelf are not designed to handle a foot that has a bunion deformity. They're designed to handle a normal looking foot, a foot without lumps and bumps. So when you have a bunion, for the most part, it's also um, unsightly. People don't like the way they look. So when we fix a bunion, our techniques are, have evolved over the past you know, 15, 20 years that not only do we fix the bunion and make the bunion not painful anymore, but we also have to buy some procedures where you don't see the scars, you don't see the incisions. A lot of my patients really like that. Um, until we started doing that, I didn't get many complaints about the scar on the top of someone's foot, but after a while, you realize that once we, we change the position of the bunion uh, incision, and now we have it along the uh, inside of the foot, and you don't see the scar when you're wearing a pair of sandals, you know, patients love that, especially my, my uh, women patients. Once the patient and I have had a discussion about what their goals are, what they're trying to achieve by getting rid of the bunion deformity, um, once they understand what the procedure is, um, they've asked all the questions they could possibly ask about, you know, being off from work or not being off from work or um, how much is this going to hurt or whether it's going to be a very expensive procedure or whether their insurance covers it. Once we've gone through all these details about, you know, the Bunyan um, experience, we go ahead and take the patient. Um, to the, um, to the operating room. The operating room is usually a outpatient surgical facility, whether it be a surgical center or an outpatient facility at a hospital. Um, patients usually met there by people that generally have, have known me over the years. Um, it's a very welcoming uh, type of situation. They, we operate, it takes about 30 to 40 minutes to operate and fix a single bunion deformity in my hands. Um, Usually the patient will have a pain pump that I put into the surgical site. The pain pump drips a little anesthetic into the surgical site. We take that out in three days, but what, what that does is during the first you know, two to three days after surgery, there's virtually no pain after the surgery. Um, some people have a little bit more, some people have uh, no pain at all, but for the most part, by having that pain pump in there, it works really nicely to manage pain. We also give pain medication afterwards as well. Um, after the patient goes home after their bunionectomy, um, they're given instructions on how to take care of it. And then what happens is we usually check up with them that night, the following night. We make contact with the patient, um, make sure they're doing well, ask for any, answer any questions that they have because people always think of things once they're home that they want to ask me. So we're talking to, to them through the weekend after the surgery. The bunion procedure itself has been developed and evolved over time. I've been operating on bunions for over 20 years. The, we used to do certain procedures that we don't do anymore. And now we've developed procedures where the type of fixation, the technology that we use, the incision placements that we use allow the patient to ambulate immediately after having the bunionectomy in a protective shoe. Um, they're able to go to work quicker, but the procedures are devised so that the patient's downtime is, is minimal. 